So coach, uh, we're going to jump here into the last, so four minutes, 10 seconds left. They're at the free throw line to attempt to tie the game. So kind of jumping in where we're at in this point of the game. Could you maybe just uh, from what you remember back, I guess maybe catch us up real quick. We were coming off a game where we got destroyed by Santa Cruz and we actually started the first quarter down double digits. And so the mentality from that point on was like, we've got to fight every possession. Okay, everyone talks about that, but you know, we were a higher ranked seed and, and we knew as an opponent, they were extremely talented. And so for us, right, we, we had to refocus after getting drilled for the first time, regaining our confidence, regaining our aggressiveness. And, and a big focus was whatever was going to happen during to this game, I was going to be as positive as I can. Everything was going to be with positive. We turn it over, we miss a shot, we give it up. You know, I was going to do everything I could to be visually as, as positive as we could of just making sure our guys knew like, hey, we have the confidence we can we can come out and win this game. Well, so we'll dive in. Uh, 410 misses the free throw. So, so this play right here, this was going to be called off a right off the free throw. And so it was a play that we actually put in as an ATO earlier, which is kind of what I try to do. I'll, I'll use ATOs early that I want to become set plays. And so what we were trying to do here is, is generate a high value shot with some movement. And so this is one of the pick and roll actions that we run. Uh, where there's lots of movement and cutting to try to shift and distort the shell. Goal of it, right, is to not just run as fluff. We want our foreman, who's Jared Utoff, to really try to attack uh, Caleb Holmesley's defender, number three, and get a piece of them. And so now what we try to do is put guys in position to their strong hand. So if you look on the weak side of the fourth, Caleb Holmesley's left-handed. So we want him getting downhill on this DHO to his left hand, and then everyone on the left side of the floor is right-handed. So now you're you're up three. Um, he's going to the free throw line. I guess as a coach here now, setting up your defense, does, does anything change here as we now get under four minutes? No, we're staying the same. I mean, the biggest key is making sure our matchups are correct, right? So like off, off a dead ball situation, we can control the matchups to make sure that we've got the right defenders in the right situation and also re-communicating what our pick and roll coverage is. And so like this is a guard to guard action is coming. Like for us, that's what we call square, square, square. And uh, which we, we don't want to switch unless there's contact. You know, our mentality in those situations, if a guard is in the pain, he's setting a screen or getting a screen. If I can just follow up with square, the square, square, square. What do you what do you mean there? So in, in any guard to guard pick and roll, go ahead and freeze it here. What we're yelling is square, square, square. And so we. What we want the guard to know is that a, a guard or shooting foreman is coming to set a screen. And we don't want him turning one way or another. We don't want him to open up his hips so he can attack the wake of the slip out. He's playing one-on-one. -on -one. He's totally square to the ball. He's not forcing him any direction. And only on contact is there a switch out. And so here you see uh, as... Uh, Edwards gets to the point of the slip, right? Like if you watch Cassius Winston, he's not turning his hips at all. He's not opening up and giving up that drive. And Jalen does a pretty good job here of being in the situation to where he's not committing to the ball, right? Like it's just quick show of his body. And then he's back to the shooter. And then he does a really good job of, of closing out and containing the drive. And then what we have is this, we've got Jared as an early low man, number 19, Jared Utah. And what we really try to focus on is having an early low man, and then it's going to become an X out with Omari Spellman. Now as we're coming down in transition, now we're just playing. There's no play call here. Elbow help kicks. That's perfect. Right, strong side corner. Spacing wasn't great. Now Jalen Adams holds on to the ball a little bit too much here, right? So what would you prefer in this situation where it's kind of a broken possession a little bit, but it's under 10 seconds. How do you view how this possession could have ended? So what, what we're trying to get to in a situation like this and, and ideally what we're going to do in the last eight to 10 seconds is get to our flash game. So that would be our five men sprinting to the nail or elbow. We're hitting them and then now we're playing in cuts. We're playing on okay. split cuts in the last few seconds would, would be the ideal goal at this uh, situation on the floor. 
and you prefer the flash game instead of uh, like a middle pick and roll or 